you guys want to, or some of my. How's everyone doing today? I hope well. Um, I am going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite aspects of beauty slash makeup, um, and that would be eyeliner. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be showing you is not a liquid liner. It is a pencil liner, but it's a really, really awesome. The Rimmel Waterproof Coal Scandalize in the color, I believe it's just black. So 001. It is a waterproof coal, so it's a really good liner. If you are the type of person to put it into your waterline, it's really, really easy to apply. It's very creamy. Um, it goes in your waterline, it glides right on, and then it sets really well, so it's not gonna smear and smudge and leave the area that you put it on easily, if that makes any sense. Also, you do have some time to work with this, so if you were to smudge it along your um, bottom lower lash line or even on the top, you do have some time to kind of smudge it out even further if you're going for like a smoky whatever kind of look um, before it does set. You do need to sharpen these. I absolutely love these waterproof liners. I think that they are just so awesome in pigmentation and they last all, all day long. Um, I do use this one if I'm not trying to go for like a heavy liner look and I also use the one in nude in my waterline almost every single day. I think it just brightens your eyes up a lot and it stays in all day. You don't have to worry about retouching it. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in blackest black. Looks just like this, comes in a little pot. If you're unfamiliar with gel eyeliners, basically what it is is you apply it with either like an angled brush like so, or you can apply it with like an eyeliner brush which is a lot um, more pointy at the end and it's a pretty straight just brush. The only thing with gel eyeliners is I find that most drugstore eyeliners that come in this form dry out super fast, but I do like it because it kind of gives a different kind of effect. It's not as harsh, but at the same time, um, it's still black. It's hard to explain if you haven't used it. Um, if you've used a cream eyeliner, it's basically the same concept, but you basically would just be dipping your brush right into here and just drawing on your eyeliner. I feel like it's too much of a process to do it sometimes. I know a lot of people who are pros at gel eyeliners and I don't know what it is, but I just, me and gel eyeliners just don't mix, but I bought this to have and to hold and to love and I do like it. It's just not my favorite product. Okay, next is my Holy Grail that I've talked about before, so I'm just gonna speed right through this one. This is my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and it's in the color Trooper. It comes in a felt tip. I've gone through so many of these. I absolutely love them. It's really, really black, and it dries to kind of like a semi-matte finish. So it's not super, super matte, but um, it's definitely not like a glossy, liquid, wet-looking liner. It's awesome because it's buildable, so as you're you know, applying your eyeliner, you can add more and more and more, and it's not gonna look like chunky or spotty or weird or anything. Also, this thing is like indestructible. It's waterproof beyond belief. Like you have to scrub at it to get it off or use like an oil or kind of like a moisturizer or something to, to remove it. It's $18 at Sephora um, and it's not available in like drugstores or anything and it is a little expensive, but I feel like if you're looking to spend money on a good quality eyeliner, this is the absolute one to do it. Kat Von D. Felt Tip Eyeliner in Trooper. Forever. My next one is, this is an old, old favorite of mine. This was probably one of the very first eyeliners I purchased back in the day. It's from the company NYX, or NYX if you know it as that. Um, they sell it at Ulta, and I believe now that they're selling it at Target. This thing will last all day. I do love the, the brush tip applicator. I think it really gives you a nice um, wing or flick. It's just so easy for somebody who doesn't know how to apply a liner. It's very, very black. It, probably dries to, and again, I think it's a semi-matte finish. I don't think it's super matte, but it also doesn't dry super glossy. I hate the looks of like glossy pearlized black finishes on your eyes. I think it just looks really classy when a liner is matte and just simple. So this is an awesome one. I believe this one's about six or seven dollars at Ulta and Target in the NYX section. Another one I have tried, I haven't bought this because I didn't, want to, 
but um, but it came in like a little kit or something that I had a while back so it's a little mini version of the actual one and this is the Stila stay all day waterproof liner it's pretty comparable to the Kat Von D as far as application goes um, it's pretty easy to apply it's easy to get into the root of your lashes with that felt tip eyeliner and it's a really awesome black the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't stay all day it says it does and it doesn't um, I find that it flakes a little bit throughout the day. This is okay, but it reminds me of a marker. I feel like I'm kind of putting a marker on my eye and it flakes off as though it's a marker. So I would give this a solid like six out of 10. This is okay. Um, if I don't have any other ones, if I'm out of everything else, I'll definitely reach for this, but it's not my favorite. As far as my new ultimate favorite liner goes, I found it. I actually just recently posted an Instagram post about it um, because I was so excited. And I picked it up at Walmart and it's $3 and it's amazing. I'm just completely blown away at the, at the quality of this liner. It's amazing. It's NYC and it's the eyeliner liquid in black. There's another one like this, but it's in pearlized black. Don't get that one. Get the black one because this one will dry to a matte finish. I don't know if you like the pearlized one, get whatever you want. But what I like is a complete matte liner. I like it to just be simple, to the point, that's it. No sparkles, no anything. Just black, matte, good. This is also a brush tip. It's a little bit thicker than that um, the NYX one that I was showing you guys, but it is absolutely so easy to apply. It's a pretty stiff brush, so it's easy to kind of follow the line. And it's this one right here. It is the blackest black I've ever seen in an eyeliner. And once it dries, it's done. You're good. You don't have to reapply it. You don't have to worry about it coming off throughout the day, flaking off. It's literally completely indestructible. It's insane. About $2.98 at Walmart or Walgreens or CVS. Um, Ulta does not carry this brand. Definitely go try this one. If you haven't yet, do it. I would say if we're gonna pick two, Kat Von D, NYC, completely equal, completely equal, which is insane because one's $18 and one's three. Go out and try some of these. They're not expensive. Some of them, I think the only expensive one, well, just go out and try the ones that you want to try. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching. And if you have any questions, of course, just leave them and ask me. Follow me on Instagram. If you want to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, absolutely do it. Like this video if you liked it. Follow me, hang out with me, I'm pretty cool. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.